Yo, Hudson Valley. What do you do if you have 24 hours to put on a play? The Woodstock Film Festival opens this coming week. It's September 15th. Happy birthday to Hall of Fame football player Dan Marino. Happy birthday, Dan. Would you like some refreshments? Dan. This is the 845 Scene Show. Dan. Hello, it's the 845 Scene Show. This is Timothy Malcolm, 845scene.com. If you didn't know that intro, go back and watch Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, will ya? Let's get down to business this week. The Woodstock Film Festival opens on Wednesday. There's going to be an opening concert featuring Philippe Quint and Nellie McKay, local musicians Tracy Bonham, Jerry Murata. They're also going to be there. It's at 7.30 p.m. at the Bearsville Theater in Woodstock. Steve Israel will launch our coverage, live coverage, of the festival that Wednesday night. Thursday, we will have a story on that concert, and our live coverage will roll all throughout the week there. We'll have more about that next week on the 845 Scene Show. But check out Go Tomorrow for a cover story on the film festival and check out the time sell record on Sunday for much more and check out our coverage live ongoing coverage at recordonline.com backslash WFF it's up right now you can check it out as much as you can over the next few weeks check that out for all the updates from the Woodstock Film Festival also in the news, local musician Natalie Merchant is going to play a couple concerts coming up in October. Two special concerts for WDST Radio Woodstock's 13th Annual Pink October Fundraiser. The concerts are going to be 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. October 22nd at the Old Dutch Church in Kingston. What a great venue for such a great songwriter. The tickets for the shows are $35 to $99. The money will go to the Dyson Center for Cancer Care at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. Great cause. It's part of their Pink October Fundraiser razor which goes to breast cancer research get tickets at radiowoodstock.com SUNY Orange will be hosting a 24-hour play project on September 23rd. This is happening at the Orange Hall Theater in Middletown. Now this project, for those of you who don't know what a 24-hour play project is, it's where you get a bunch of writers, directors, and actors in a room, and they try to put together a play or a couple different plays over the course of an entire day. At the end of the day, they will put on the productions for a live audience. Really cool interactive thing that they have uh, that a lot of places do. This will be happening at SUNY Orange. They need six writers, six directors, and 20 actors for this uh, project. Doesn't matter if you are an actor or a writer or a director, but they want you to do it. So if you are interested, go to SUNYOrange.edu backslash cultural affairs. Six original 10-minute plays in 24 hours, a 24-hour play project at SUNY Orange. If you're interested, sign up today. <laughs> Well, the folks at Creative Theater Muddy Water Players are doing cabaret, and that's starting this weekend at the Museum Village Playhouse at 17M in Monroe. Tickets are $20. Yes, dessert is included. They have wonderful apple desserts over at the Playhouse at Museum Village. Again, cabaret happening this weekend, a couple other weekends after that. Check it out, Museum Village, 17M, Monroe. Also on tap is an exceptional event at Opus 40 in Socrates. It's called Passage to India by the dance troupe Vanover Caravan. They're unbelievable. They're a great dance troupe. It's performed around the world, and they're going to be at Opus 40 this Saturday. It's a day of food, of music, of dance, whole night of celebration. It starts at sunset, which is going to be about 4.30 on Saturday. Tickets are $50 for this event at Opus 40, which, again, is one of the most unbelievable places on earth. Beautiful rock quality. If you don't know the history of Opus 40, go to its website and check out the story of that. It's happening again Saturday, Opus 40, Vandiver Caravan, Passage to India. And now for some quick hits. The Air Pirates are back! Air Pirates Radio Theater are doing her Marks Freelance, That Tramp May Be a Lady. That's at 8 p.m. Saturday at the Lyceum Center for Performing Arts. Tickets are $15. Sounds Asylum, what's going on there this weekend? Well, you got the Venetia Fair, Six Stories Told, Plenty More Bands, that's Friday night, Floral Terrace, The Dedication, More Bands Saturday night. Both shows are 6 p.m. at Sounds Asylum in Middletown.
And it's Ulster Cultural Heritage Week. Tons of events this weekend all across Ulster County and next weekend as well to celebrate Ulster County history and heritage. Please go to some of these places, check out ulstertourism.info and check out what's going on in Ulster County because there are some beautiful places. Support your local historical groups in Ulster County. They really need the support right now. Again, ulstertourism.info for more information. And if you want more on what's going on in the Hudson Valley and beyond, check out 845scene.com anytime. We're always out there and available. And if you want us on Twitter or Facebook, go to twitter.com backslash 845scene or you can check out my personal Twitter at twitter.com backslash Timothy Malcolm. Facebook is facebook.com backslash 845scene. Until next week, this is the 845 Scene Show. We're here next week. The same show. We'll be back, I promise. This is Timothy Malcolm. As always, have some fun. Now!